Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. We've got a slightly different Shark Bites episode for you today with the idea coming from my housemate Jazz who thought it'd be pretty cool if I reacted to shark attack videos from the internet. Now obviously shark attacks aren't a joke and can often have really serious consequences for both humans and sharks. But the aim of this video is for me to give you some of my thoughts from a shark behaviour perspective and what maybe the divers or snorkelers did right and what they maybe could have done a little bit better. Before we start though, if you enjoy this video and maybe find it somewhat informative, make sure you hit that thumbs up button below and let me know what you think in the comments. So let's jump right in and check out our first clip. Okay, so this first video we're at Brothers Island, I think, in the Red Sea, looking at what appears to me to be an oceanic white tip shark. So my immediate first thought here is this is a species that can on occasion be pretty aggressive. Oceanic white tips have been responsible for a number of bites on humans in the Red Sea, one of the most famous being the attack in Sharm El Sheikh about 10 years ago. Straight up from a diving perspective though, this is a mess. I mean, everyone's separated, swimming all over the place. It doesn't look like there's a buddy system at all with these divers, some of which don't even realise that there's a shark right next to them. <laughs> People always ask me what the most dangerous species of shark is, usually expecting to get an answer like great white or bull shark, but the answer I always give is that the most dangerous shark is the one that you're not looking at. So initially this white tip is getting up close and personal with that diver in the middle there, and that tells you straight away this is a shark that's not afraid of humans at all, or the loud bubbles that are being released from those regulators. Anyway, the shark does another circle here and approaches this diver who really has no idea that the shark's even there and takes a bite out of that person's leg. Ouch. So my main advice here is pretty simple. Always dive with and stay close to your buddy and importantly, be aware of your surroundings, especially when a shark's in the area. You saw initially with that first diver that a couple of kicks and a bit of a shove was enough to deter that shark, but the second diver had no idea and got bitten as a result of it. I couldn't find any follow-up information on the diver who got bitten, but based on that pretty big cloud of blood, I imagine a number of stitches were needed after that bite. Okay, next up, no location here, but we've got a tiger shark who looks to be in the middle of a predation event with a turtle. Sea turtles are regular prey items for tiger sharks, with their teeth perfectly designed for grasping and crunching that shell of the turtle. It looks like this underwater photographer maybe is trying to get a good photo or video of that predation event. So first off, I can tell you this freediver is way too close to this shark. I mean, they can clearly see what's going on from the surface quite well, but that need to get the best picture means they're getting really too close to the shark. During a predation event like this, sharks can get pretty aggressive and defensive over their prey item, and that's the same for any shark species. So the freediver heads up to the surface quickly to presumably tell the people on the boat how awesome this experience is, but for a second he's taken his eyes off the shark. So that shark is now on its way up to him and we can see this pretty crazy behavior. That mouth is open wide and is basically the shark saying to that diver, back off, this is my prey item. He gets pretty lucky here as that was just a threat display from that tiger shark, but the whole situation could have been so much worse. He has used the camera as sort of a defense against the shark, and this is definitely what you should be doing. Any object that you have in your hands, you should be trying to place in between you and the shark to try and fend it off. I think the main thing here though is this guy is far too close to that shark, and that's resulted in this pretty crazy encounter. Always watch from a safe distance, guys. Across to Papua New Guinea here now, where two divers are on a very deep recreational dive. So. I think the video says that they're around 57 meters, which is just utterly ridiculous for a wreck dive. <laughs> I would 100% not recommend to anyone diving this deep without like serious specialist tech equipment. <laughs> this is how accidents happen. <laughs> anyway, I'm not here to scorn these divers for diving too deep, but it looks like they're doing something pretty interesting here in rubbing and crunching that plastic bottle. So this is something that I actually hadn't heard of before, but it's apparently used occasionally by divers to lure sharks in. I mean, guessing at the science behind it, I imagine that plastic bottle is making really light vibrations in the water and that's being picked up by the sensory system of the sharks. It's probably making vibrations similar to that of an injured fish and that's what's bringing the shark closer. I think you can all imagine where this is about to go. <laughs> After some plastic bottle crunching for about a minute, oh, 
we get this shark charging in full speed into that diver. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's pretty difficult to tell what kind of shark that is. It could be a big silver tip, maybe, or a big grey reef shark. I can't be sure. I mean, generally, this is what's going to happen when you mimic the prey species of sharks. They're going to come in in predator mode, and that's how you're going to end up in an accident. We can see here, though, slow down. The diver tries to lift his fins up to place them in between him and the shark, which, if you haven't got anything else, is a good option. But the problem is here, the shark is coming at him so fast, he doesn't really have time to get them up. It also doesn't really look like the shark actually goes for a bite here. It just kind of rams into him. And I can only think at the last minute, this shark has realized the diver is not an injured fish, like what the plastic bottle would suggest, and kind of pulls out a little bit. Still, that's really got to hurt. And this ends up being a pretty fortunate outcome, all things considered. Okay, final clip here, and we've got what looks like another oceanic white tip again, just kind of cruising around some free divers. It also looks like there's a few pilot whales in the water in the distance over there. So, cool shark fact here, oceanic white tips are often found in close proximity to pilot whales. It's thought that sharks use the whales to help them find prey. Some researchers have suggested that oceanic white tips kind of hide in and around pilot whales so that they can ambush their prey, but others say that the pilot whales, with that echolocation they have, are really good at finding squid, so the sharks kind of just tag along to get an easy meal. Anyway, that oceanic white tip comes in for a few passes just checking out these free divers, and this is the point where you have to make sure everyone has got eyes on that shark. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, if you don't maintain eye contact, you really, really run the risk of being bitten. So this guy free dives down really just at the wrong time and gets a nasty test bite on the back of his shoulder. I mean, if he had literally done this 10 seconds prior, he probably wouldn't have got bitten there. But he's just taken his eye off the shark for a split second and it's on him. He's actually so lucky here because this shark could have quite easily taken that arm off. I mean, if it had bit a little bit lower down, that arm is gone. But because it's nearer the shoulder, he's kind of able to sort of tuck that arm and just roll away. And that's been enough to deter the shark. Lucky, lucky boy. So what have we learned from some of those clips then? Well, don't get too close to a shark during a predation event. Don't try and mimic the sound of an injured prey item of a shark species. And then finally, always keep eyes on the shark. So what do you think of some of these shark attack videos? Have you ever had a crazy run in with a shark like this? Have you seen any other crazy shark attack videos online that I've missed? I want to hear all about it in the comments below. Also, if you like this style of video and you want to see more of them in the future, let me know in the comments and I'll try and do more of them for you. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.